Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to show you how to use the extract command in Adobe Premiere Pro. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so that was probably a little bit of a stupid intro, but I'm going to be using this footage as a good example of how to remove clips that you don't want in your timeline with Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. Now, the principles are pretty much the same for most of the versions of Premiere, but I'm using 2018 because that is the version I've got. So what I'm going to do is take this footage, I'm going to leave the original footage as you've just watched it, as the first part, and then what we're going to do is we're going to edit the second part, I'm going to copy and paste the entire clip to a new clip, and then we're going to trim it down and make it look a little bit more presentable. And that way, <coughs> if there's any problems, we can remove them quite easily. Now that cough was intended, so it's fine. We'll get rid of that. Right, so let's go to the computer. Okay, so we're in front of the computer now. Now I've got my footage, I've put it on the timeline, and I've done some very basic editing to it, but I just thought I'd let you go through and see my kind of workflow, see how things work for me using the extract tool. Now the extract tool is a pretty easy thing to use. If you've got multiple tracks on your timeline, it's a really helpful thing to do, especially if you're trying to add some pace to your clips or maybe remove errors or if someone said a word incorrectly and they quickly said it again straight after, it's a really nice way of kind of just cutting out a tiny little segment of the video and keeping everything moving along nice and smoothly. In the previous video that you've just watched, it's getting really confusing because I'm recording what you're seeing. Anyway, so in the previous video, I deliberately went a little bit slower than I would normally in some wording, just so that I could use the extract tool to actually remove those segments and uh, speed things up a little bit. Also, there is an intentional cough, which I'm going to remove as well, just to show you how easily that can be done. Now, it's by no means a perfect way of doing it. It's not like Hollywood level kind of stuff. But if you've made a video and there's a few little bits and pieces in there that you're not really keen on or you don't like or just slow the video down a little bit too much or you've been searching for a word and you're kind of like, oh, now I remember it, and then carrying on that kind of stuff, it's a really nice tool to get rid of that stuff. So the extract tool, uh, is in the editing section. I think it's actually in most of them, actually. Yeah, I think it belongs in most of the tabs, so you'll, you'll find it is normally in your default workspace. So the three keys you need for it, essentially, if you want to use the keys, are I and O, which is I for in point, O for out point, and the extract key or hot key is the comma. Uh, I generally prefer to actually click on the extract key on the desktop, I don't know why, just something I've always done. So normally keyboard and mouse, so left hand for doing the, uh, the the timeline head or the play head or whatever you want to call it. And my other hand I use for INO. So let's give you a quick example of uh, how I'd speed things up. So this is the footage that I just recorded. Probably a little bit of a stupid intro, but I'm going to be using this footage as a good example of how to remove clips that you don't want in your timeline with Adobe Premiere Pro 28. Right, so that's a little bit slow. And as you can see, actually from the gaps on the timeline, there's some pretty big gaps there. So we could speed that up a little bit to make the video a little bit quicker, which sometimes helps keep people's interest. You never know. Move clips that you don't want in your timeline. So let's have that as the in and out point. So I for in point, O for out point, and the extract key will remove everything in between those two points. Now again, if you've got other things on your timeline, it will remove those as well. If you've got uh, music or some kind of overlay you want to keep, and it doesn't have to be synchronized, then you can lock the track, and then it will just remove whatever is in the unlock section. So we're going to click on the extract button, and let's do the same again. So let's make this a little bit bigger. So, so another I for in. With and an out and extract with Adobe Premiere Pro. And in that section, there's yeah. Adobe Pro. And you, if you want to be really kind of uh, specific about it, you can try and do it so you've got your mouth in the right position, but it very, very rarely works. So I and O then extract. 
So INO and extract. So let's just quickly watch that little bit back now and see what difference that's made. Remove clips that you don't want in your timeline with Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. Now the principles are pretty much the same. So that's keep, kept things much quicker. Now it's very easy to do this, you can keep it going through. And actually some people actually do like that form of editing where it's kind of like a jump cut and speeds up the whole process. Love it or loathe it, it's really helpful and it helps make the video a bit quicker for me. And also it stops it from being just one bland continuous shot. Even if it is just one continuous shot, this can help break things up a little bit. So let's see where we had our intentional cough. There we are, there's the cough. So let's open that up a little bit. So And then we're gonna trim it down and make it look a little bit more presentable. And that way, <coughs> if there's any problems, we can... So that is quite a common thing. So you, you've done your bit of footage and you're doing your piece to camera and you've done a cough. You've remembered the last word you've said. So as soon as you finish coughing, you've then gone straight into it and carried on with your dialogue. So all you need to do is just trim it out. Now again, you could use the uh, just the trim tool, the cut, and literally just slice through, remove, shove the whole lot along. But for me, that's a real pain dragging stuff along. The extract tool works much better in my opinion. So again, let's get on the timeline. So where's the cough? There's the cough. So, and that way, <coughs> if there's any problems, we can remove. And hopefully that's speeded things up a bit and got rid of the cough. Look a little bit more presentable. And that way, if there's any problems, we can remove. Right, let's get rid of that bit as well because that slows things down a little bit. There's a bit of a gap, another intentional gap. So now that whole segment should flow a little bit nicer. It look a little bit more presentable. And that way, if there's any problems, we can remove them quite easily. Now that cough was intended. So, so there we go. That has been how to use the extract tool in Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. It's pretty much the same in most of the Premiere versions. So uh, you can find it pretty much on the same keys in all the versions. Hopefully it's helpful to you. If you've uh, enjoyed this video and if you will find it helpful, Give the video a thumbs up, don't forget to click on subscribe and hit the bell notification for more videos and content like this. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.